yo, my wife needs more power. So I need to figure out something about it. But I'll walk you through why. <laughs> Now, you would not think this would be an issue, but it actually is, and it's a valid issue. And the reason why is because though I have plenty of solar and I have plenty of power, these, some of these power stations just don't meet the needs of... <laughs> In my mind, I was like a black woman, <laughs> but it ain't about that. Uh, it just doesn't meet the needs of somebody who is used to not parsing out power um, as she needs it. I can get by a lot better. Let, let, let's take a look. Basically, I have three main power stations that run my house. This is the Duran Duran. This is the All Powers R1500. And I have the Blue Eddy AC200P upstairs. The Duran Duran has a 2000 watt inverter. This one has an 1800 watt inverter and the Bluetti has a 2000 watt inverter. Here's where it gets tricky. So we have a few big offenders around here. We have the microwave, we have the dishwasher, and we have our air fryer. They use a lot of power and we also have a washer and which doesn't use a lot of power and a dryer which also does not use a lot of power, but there's a caveat there. The dryer, while it is gas, <laughs> it uses a lot of power to get this drum started up. So there's very few power stations that I have that can actually run it. One being the Duran Duran, two being the Blue Eddy AC200P. Okay. My wife, like the very normal black woman that she is, <laughs> it has nothing to do. I'm, I'm inappropriate. I'm inappropriate. My wife being the normal person that she is, she likes to wash clothes and dry clothes and she does them at the same time and she cycles loads through um, and she may want to cook food and she may want to throw something in the air fryer and it's becoming a problem where she feels inconvenienced. Another thing that's playing a role is that not all the time are those three power stations involved in my power situation. Sometimes I have some others and they have some limitations. Let's talk about them briefly. The Yelanis, 1600 or so. It has 1600 in the name because it's a 600, 1600 watt inverter. That's problematic because when my microwave wants to be used, it uses a good bit of power, probably about 1700 watts, the air fryer uses about 1700 watts. Let's keep going. Here we have the Afari. The Afari has something like a 1200 watt inverter or maybe a 1500. Same thing as the Yolanis. Then we have the Super Vito Man, which also has like a 1500 watt inverter. So I can't push a lot of power through these, but they're good enough. Wait, hold on. They are more than fine enough to maintain my base load. My base load I could run all day. It's like 200 watts, maybe 100. So it's not a problem, but when my wife wants to get busy, she needs more power. Now you might be saying to yourself, ah, the AC200P should be able to handle most of that. And it should, but here's the problem with the AC200P, which is right here. It's solar array presents some challenges. Let me show you. It has a 1000 watt array connected to it. That is all in series. And you could even possibly see the problem here. It's getting a little darker right here. You can see the waves kind of the leaves kind of moving this tree <laughs> this tree cast shade on this panel array and it becomes a problem where this panel array is not optimally producing power throughout as long of the day as it should but i have a solution i believe one a more temporary solution i have this 600 watt all powers panel i'm sorry about the dog um, it's plugged into a grease cell power station, which has a 2200 watt inverter. So it's a little beefier. And I'm gonna finally get my, well, let me show you this device. I'm finally gonna get it set up and hopefully it works the way it's supposed to work. But here comes the reveal in a second. This is the monstrous, they have bigger ones, but it's monstrous to me. Oops, Mega 2, which has very little compromises. Actually, no compromises in my system. It's very similar to the AC200P, but leaps and bounds better. This joker can take in up to 2100 watts of solar, has a 150 volt input, which is similar to the AC200P, but that 2.1 kilowatts of solar is a game changer. It also has a 2500 watt inverter, which is more spacious. <laughs> then my 2000 watt and definitely my 1800 watt inverter so I could do a little more on this power station now 
I'm gonna go ahead and take care of hooking up these solar panels in series because I had some challenges. So this will be a device that powers the power hungry side of my panel. I'll show you what I mean. It's a little dark, but I have this super old panel that has my main at the bottom, my 240 at the, my main at the top, my 240 at the bottom. And then the right side of this panel is powered by one power station. And the left side of this panel is powered by another power station. The left side is the more constant one. That's where that 200 watts of power come from. The right side is the more power hungry one. That's where the air fryer and the microwave and maybe even something else big, the washer and dryer are on this leg of the joint. Let me show you how I power that real quickly. I use something called a uh, male to male AC cable. It's called a suicide cable because it has two males on the end. So if you have it plugged into power, then that side of the plug is live. So it's, it's pretty dangerous. I have also installed a AC on off switch to give me some safety. And it's also the built-in safety of just having it plugged into a power station where you could turn on and off the AC power to make sure that it's not live. But I simply just don't touch these things. I make it a habit of not touching them. <laughs> um, and I have two of these. This is my right side of the panel where it actually gets the power in. And this is where the left side of my panel gets power in. Upstairs from the AC200P, which is right here. I actually forgot to talk about the grease cell. The grease cell is basically a bonus that I have here on this panel, getting about 300 watts. That can power anything a la carte, like my air fryer, microwave, and my washer, or possibly my dryer. I don't think this works for my dryer, so it could power my washer. Um, but let's get back to the rest of the video. I need to put these panels back in series. I need to put those panels in series, and then I need to connect them in parallel. But I may just start with connecting these up so that my oops can get power immediately. These two panels are on separate power stations in EcoFlow and the Yolanis. They may just stay there for a while, or I may get adventurous and power them in. I'm not gonna show that, but that's how the solution is gonna look. That's going into my all powers, getting it, giving it 600. There'll be 600 here to the oops, and then 600 more here on the oops when the sun can hit this panel because these panels over here typically don't get sun early, much like this array. But during the evening, when the sun is more so over here and then over there, these panels all profit. So I think I'm setting myself up to have two really capable power stations that would be the OOPS and the AC200P be the main stars of my show. And then I'll have other power stations feed power into them. It would be nice if I had an AC200L or AC200 Max because I think they now, maybe not both of them, I think they now charge from fast charge instead of the 400, 500 watt uh, power big old bricks or whatever. So I'm gonna get to that. I actually thought this was pretty ingenious so I thought I'd show you. My panels were laying flat. So what I did is I just lifted them up to be able to service the wires and then I'm gonna just bring them back down when I'm done with it. I thought that was pretty smart. Stuff you kind of figure out because you just have to make it work because you only have two hands, right? So I have hooked these panels up and I put my parallel cables in, but they're still open over here. And I threw a waterproof, a waterproof container on there. And I'm gonna wait to do these in series until maybe a little later today or maybe <laughs> tomorrow. But let's see how much power this is producing. So check this out. It's getting 300 watts. It's in a lay flat array. And this one's getting 183 which is in a tilted array. So that discrepancy is major. It's losing an extra 120 watts, but this is performing good. This is fantastic. You can see what I mean in terms of this side of my panel is a low load. It's 50 watts until we start cooking food or <laughs> washing clothes or something like that. So we're gonna call this a day. Mm -hmm.